Hi YouTube, this is Wheel421 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an elevator animation. Now, the way I use this is by using LibreOffice 4.1 Impress because I don't like the new version of Impress because I think that it's a lot more advanced, and for making an elevator animation, I think we just need to use 4.1 or anything below that. Okay, so, how to start it? I'm going to show you the basic steps to start in part one. So, uh, you can either, um, now we got to find the uh, wall, so sometimes what I do is I create, go to rectangle, and do, or actually let's do turquoise, either do this, like that, or I go into my uh, data folder right here because it has all the elevator parts from Skyscraper. If you download it, um, you'll see all these parts in the data folder with the Gooper One data pack. But we're not going to use those right now. We're going to find a little wall color like this one. And also, what you want to decide is if you're going to do a fancy elevator or a simple elevator. We're going to start with a uh, parking garage elevator compared to parking garage or mall. So we'll just do a parking garage elevator. How about blue impulse? So now what I want to do is find the panel in the data folder for skyscrapers. So I'll just go down and find panel backs anywhere between the P section. So right here I think I'll find the panel, which is right here, and I'll use panel back number two. See, I'll make it a little bigger. That looks pretty good. Now, for the button, we're going to use these really cool blue fixtures right here. And what I do like about them, these right here, and what I do like about them is that they are transparent with the call button. So we're going to find this call button. See right there, there's our call button. See it's transparent, the up button's transparent, which I do like that. So now what you want to do is copy this, copy and paste it. Now you want to find the square button that's lit. See this one's light, lit up. Then put it over it. That looks pretty good. So now what you want to do for viewing is when you do the animation, Click slideshow, start from first slide, and see look. And now for the indicators or lanterns. So you want to copy this, paste this, get rid of these. We'll make this two we'll make this a set of two uh, parking garage elevators. Copy the panel. So there we go. Now let's do, uh, let's find that lantern. There it is. Now copy this lantern and put it to the other side. So now we have two elevators here. There we go. So now, see it's not lighting up. We're going to make the left elevator light up. Now you want to go back to the data folder, find this button lit. And now, make this just as big. See, that looks pretty good. Actually. Okay, there we go. So now there's our lantern. So now, I'll show you how to make a door. So you want to copy this page and paste it again. See, there's slide 5. So now, I want to get rid of this. So now, the cab. So what I'm going to do right here is find a background cab. So how about we use this one right here. So now you want to make it just as big. Yep, 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Scoot it over a little bit. So there we go. There's our door. So now, uh, our cab, I'm sorry. So now let's find a door. So uh, let's just go back up a little bit and find the door color. And there should be one in the, uh, actually. No, I might be past it or something. Oh. Why are the doors not showing up? Okay, well anyways, I'll just search up for a door. And there, there we go, you have a selection of doors from the data folder. So now, it should be labeled in Otis. Not sure why. Anyways, let's just find a door, use door one right here. Make it a little bigger. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now, just find the other side. So there's our door. So now what you want to do is copy the page, and every time you do that, open these up a little bit. See, I'm opening these up a little bit each time I do that. Okay. And now our door is completely open. So now for the fixtures. So now what I want to do is create a new slide. Right, see right here? Now, I recommend putting this in as it kind of when you put in an object this gets into your way so just pre put in the chart and get rid of it so now I'm going to copy this panel that we used earlier so we're going to make this six stories and yes these will be used blue buttons so now there's our panel so now what you want to do is go back to the uh, data folder and find your fixtures right here so let's go to the where are they they were right here okay so here's the fixtures we'll make this six stories so here's keep copying and pasting until you reach that amount of floors four five and six. So now put these wherever. Should we put them a little higher? And now you want to find a door open and door close button. And there we go. Now for the brailing. So what I'm going to do for the brailing is go to font work right here. See font work. So you want to go with this one right here, this top one. And then click OK. So now you want to do is type in the number. Click on it twice. Put your number in. One. So there we go. Part one complete. Alright, that'll be it for now. We'll see you in part two. That's it.